Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This is Dolphin today guys. We're in a video about Summoner's War. Guys, the new collab, as you guys know, <laughs> all of you guys, someone already uh, is out. We're just gonna review it real quick. Uh, I'm just gonna say what I think about it. But honestly, I, I didn't see any, I didn't hear anything bad about this collab. And they actually um, teased it pretty well. They didn't let us, they didn't make us wait months before it came out and uh, it, it came out straight away you got, we get in a lot of um, rewards we get in uh, assassin's creed uh, scrolls as well just by farming doing the events honestly the events do themselves because you just need to farm and do arena most of them also yeah i, I mean before i get into the video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it's free and support the channel a whole lot guys so if you can please hit sub button it will really really help also we're close to 2k sub so if you can guys hit it hit it but anyway uh units are cool a lot of the units have different mechanics uh different mechanics so maybe they look bad but they are not gonna be obviously they just came out so people are just gonna need to uh, adjust to them it's gonna be a lot of things are nice because a lot of so each unit has four stars element which means each of the five star can be skilled up, skilled up with the four star. That's a pretty big reason for you to click this button, because you, you hopefully everyone gets some five star, and then with the four star counterpart you can actually skill up. Also, there is an event where you can actually skill up. Um, your five stars for free I'm pretty sure is this one uh, beside all the free stuff we get even every day you get 200 uh, energy for free but we get a lot of scrolls we get a costume for Elia and we get a new um, building I think it's the summon building as well then we get a lot of uh, gift bags that we can get is LDs, there is legendaries, devil mounts, a lot of scrolls, this is uh, Assassin's Creed scroll and here you can see uh, you can skill up uh, not 5 collab monster up to 5 times and not 4 skill up monster up to 4 times so farm 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 guys and then you can skill up some of these 5 star and 4 star for free as well 5 times uh, another thing before this ends there's 10 days left, I'm pretty sure, 12 days left. So before this ends, make sure you summon, because every 10 summons you get one free uh, Miska scroll, and every Assassin's Creed unit you summon, you get another free Mystical scroll. So make sure you summon before this ends, because if you have a good amount of scrolls, I have around 500. So, I mean, beside the Assassin's Creed uh, unit I'm gonna get, hopefully I get enough for at least, but I'm gonna get 50 scrolls for free. So make sure you do that. Um, this one, if you can do it, but I'm not understanding it. So if you guys have the answer to that, please do let me know. Don't forget to do this Delta uh, giveaway. It's an LD, sorry, it's an Allied Nav 5, which is given for free. We'll see how it is. We'll see how good it is. Uh, but you just need to farm and do Arena, and then you're gonna get the rewards every day you get the emotes as well uh, add your emotes and then more emotes then we go altair here and then we get scrolls re-up and then we get the assassin's creed scroll as well so free free stuff and also you get these free runes if you're free sorry if you're early game these runes probably gonna help if you're not probably they're not gonna be the best for you but also we're gonna get other uh our, sorry other um rewards for free here now we have a new dungeon also don't forget to do this we always get new um, missions to do and you get these codices which are pretty important for this um, event because you can get a gift bug with the codices and also don't forget to do this every week now it's appearing like if I didn't do it uh, guys this is a pretty uh, free to play free to play friendly and also pretty easy dungeon uh, make sure you clear all three uh, difficulties every week they're not they're not hard at all guys they're free to play friendly as i said 
and they give you good rewards. The rewards change every week. So make sure you do them every week, once a week, that's all you need to do. Uh, every uh, tile that you clear is gonna give you extra bonus for your units. So make sure you go for that. Uh, you can pick uh, Assassin's Creed units before you start each difficulty and then you carry on, let's say you, you choose Ezio here. Uh, when you do hard, you're still gonna have Ezio, plus you can pick another one. Uh, so you can choose them and they're probably gonna help early game, but if you're not early game, probably go for your units. You don't need to use Assassin's Creed unit. Uh, and then I would say when you do the tiles, pick uh, bonuses that apply to all the units. Unless you're going full Assassin's Creed, then you can use the Assassin's Creed bonuses, but otherwise just pick the normal um, bonuses. There's a lot of good, uh, good ones, uh, so pick them. I did this, because I, I, honestly I forgot I had two Verde Hills anyway, but I lost one Verde Hill, but you don't need to do this. I could have done that actually. Uh, but yeah, I've used Raok, I'm going to show you the runes on them as well. But I use Raok, Verhill, Lauren, and yes, I use Nikki because I have Nikki and I just summon her, so I just want to use her. You can use Fran instead of her. You can use, uh, oh yeah, Ride is pretty, pretty good. Uh, you just need immunity, attack buff is pretty good. Nikki gives attack buff, yes, she does extra damage. She has a cleanse, but you can go Riley, you can go Fran for the attack buff and immunity. Uh, you can you, you can go Lulu if you want, but I feel that Riley and Fran are better options. Uh, Raok is like this, just attack, crit damage, attack. It's not even grinded fully. It's not grinded at all, actually. Um, so that's Raok, my bird heal. I've used this one on Valiant Revenge, and it's just speed, crit rate, HP. Again, not fully grinded at all. Just go tanky, tankier with 100 crit rate. Uh, Lauren is on violent as well. Where is she? I don't think many people are having trouble clearing this dungeon, uh, but you don't need to go Nemesis either. But look, it's not even grinded, so uh, I don't think many people are having a uh, problem with this dungeon. It's not that hard, but if you are, just use this free to play team and you're gonna be good to go. Riley, I can show you my Riley, but you don't need to go Riley, you can go front. Uh, speed HP HP or Fran like this so yeah honestly guys the units are really nice I'm gonna summon a few days I'm gonna wait to get not this uh, I'm not gonna be able to get this transcendence before uh, this ends so I'm gonna have to summon one transcendence only this time uh, and then we're gonna summon more but honestly the units are pretty cool I really like them and um, the animations are really nice. Also, as I said, mechanics are pretty different than other units, so I'm pretty excited about this. I can't wait to summon, and as I said, I have a decent amount of scrolls. Uh, in total, I think it's over 500, so 300 here, and then this, and then this, and then this. I'm gonna summon a few days before that ends, so I'm gonna probably have more than 500. Uh, oh, I like that. I like the runes more. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll definitely roll that. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're probably going to review some of the units in the next videos. Um, but I want to give it a couple of days to see how people use them, how they perform. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Bye.